Um, nice. Well, as I say, if I see any more of them, mate, I'll get them. Um, but uh, no, obviously, uh, David's turned up. Uh, Mr. Harper has been uh, taken home by Mrs. Uh, Tightwood. And uh, yeah, David's got a. Well, I mean, it's a running joke, mate, but it's true, isn't it? Probably by about 2022 or something, you might actually use a bit of kit that I've seen before, yeah, that, we mate? Could do that cycle. Or on that rotation. <laughs> <laughs> but by that time, my Alzheimer's will be like well in. <laughs> so you'll be new again. <laughs> <laughs> but ultra light weight uh, tent there and that. And uh, obviously, I'll show you tomorrow because uh, that's the old uh, state of play with the sun. And uh, obviously, then I, well, you've probably seen some of it. Um, load of wood prep there and we'll put there and we're going to get some scoff on get the fire going but uh yeah and there's uh been talking about this jacket that's just the rolls royce of jackets mate isn't it? Oh, that's exactly the same as um the one i got in swedish m90 anyway uh, oh yeah marty cuff he, he uh got that at the old uh, wilderness gathering bushcraft show, show sorry mate that's the one i meant anyway yeah. alzheimer's kicking in there and uh, obviously last time uh, there was an exchange of uh the Queen's head <laughs> for that jacket, and you're loving that, mate, isn't you? Yeah, it's really yeah. nice. I really yeah. do like yeah. it. Because on the way out, like, um, I was just, you know, um, on on sort of a point man as it goes, and uh, he saw David. David said hello, and then he started barking at you, mate, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> he said, "You reminded me attack me." Yeah, because he's never met you, mate, has he? Yeah, no, 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 strange, really. Because always, I was just shoot out the door, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Whereas he knows Mark, uh, Mike, and Big Martin, and that. He's got that Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as he knew he was, uh, he was okay, like you know. Uh, Starts attacking me, and I start running away. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, that's fair enough. That's what a dog's for, mate. To uh, give you a bit of a look, a bit of a bark there. But uh, yeah, I've sort of set up ready to go. Is that spoon I was doing the other day? I finished it off. Oh, come on, yeah. All right, no worries. Here we have uh, my dinner. The old Billy can there. It's going to go on top of the old grate on the fire when I get it going, which is soon because uh, we're kind of losing light now. David's doing his setup and that. I'll show his tent tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pasta twists on a you know a big tin of that, and I've uh, thrown in some of the meatballs for the snack stop stuff. Uh, that's these things. There's a chili con carne one there. Again, they're just like um, look what we found, but a lot lot cheaper, do not he? Um, pound. So that's what I'm gonna have tonight. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get that fire going. And. Uh, been a really nice day so far uh, with my dog and that. I love twilight. At least now I haven't got a stand to. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, one of the old uh, waxed um, mop fire starters has uh, got that going. It's uh, a bit um, damp, the old wood, but yeah, it's all split up and there's various bits there, so I'll let that go and uh, establish some coals and. Uh, Get me trough on. I'm starving, isn't you, mate? Right now, I just had a little sort of uh, yeah. pre sort of dinner starters, maybe. Well, you know, without being rude, mate, you're always, you're always feeding your cake, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a classic, isn't it? Oh, when you're out in the woods, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Keep your energy levels up. Oh, yeah. My excuse. But none of us will beat Carlisle, will we? No, no. No. <laughs> Something magical about fire, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really surprised how uh, easy that took because. Uh, all the wood's a bit damp, just done a few feather sticks, nothing fancy. Um, and uh, one of my little uh, mock fast tires got that going. So I'm unhappy with that because they weigh nothing, you can carry loads of them. Right, well, um, the light is going. Because, uh, what is it, Saturday, I think, at 2 o'clock? Yeah, yeah, it'll be dark now. I know. Uh, right, where's this year gone, mate? Well, Tell you. But anyway, ladies and gents. Oh, I can smell it. Mm. It's, uh, it's that magical about fire.
ladies and gents, it's uh, now the morning. I had a cracking night's sleep. Um, no Arctic sleeping bag there. It wasn't freezing or anything last night. A little bit cold. But um, that's obviously staying with me now. I've been using it all the time. I actually found it a bit too hot last night. But uh, yeah, cracking morning. But uh, yeah, I think we went to bed about 11ish. Like we're both tired. Um, proper tired, like you know, from coming. David come from work and that, and I'd come off a late shift. So yeah, going to sleep wasn't a problem. And I had a full. I think I went to bed about 11, got up about seven. Yeah. yeah so that's not bad, mate. And David said, "Well, didn't the, didn't you um not hear the noises of the?" I didn't. That's forest. Yeah, and I mean, uh, actually, no, mate. No, the only time I woke up, it's a bit of a blessing, really, isn't it? Like, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. So I've had a pucker night's kit. Feel really brilliant, like. Right? And uh, really, really comfortable on it. Fucking love that little bed. Um, so I swore there, but uh, love that little uh, old bed chair. And uh, what we're doing now is uh, the back of this. Obviously, you can't have it when you get fire, but just something so you can stand up and do your brews and that. We're uh, gonna just before we go, we want to um, make a table um, so you can do your brews and you know, if need be, you put your stoves on it and stuff like that. And uh, next time we come here. Um, we're going to try and obviously make some seats and you've got a very good idea for that mate haven't you yeah we've got that not say too much but we're gonna yeah try and make some seats and as you say if we split that right we'll get two out of that mate won't we two nice table stroke seats won't yeah we? yeah and that'll be a nice one but yeah i'll get this off and that do you mind i'm gonna just show you tent and that mate yeah, yeah. Also, and this, how much did you pay for this, mate? 125 or something like that, but it was about four years ago when yeah. I got it. But it costs a fortune anyway, doesn't it? I think you're like 350, 400, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I mean, I think we've, we've covered, remember that time, you, and you did say that to me though, mate, oh, I can't haggle. <laughs> yeah, I think we, that, that was like a bit of a myth, innit? <laughs> yeah, I think that's my uh, plan, to get things off people cheap. Well, it's just it's no. job done, mate, no. Because, um, I'll tell you what, um, I said, uh, like, I got the Bergen, Big Martin's getting the other burger, and, and with the, the money, uh, you've got that cracking smock there, mate, isn't yeah. you? That is a top end smock designed. Uh, well shuffled it. Yeah, you know, I spotted that straight away. I think Marty Cuff bought it at the uh, Bushcraft show, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, you've ended up with that, mate, and that's a cracking smock, that is. He, uh, he didn't even wear it. No, nah, I've not um, not seen anything like that, mate. With that's, I'll, I'll, I'll put money on that. That's Arkist, so it's bloody well made, mate. And they've made that to an order of a unit, because that's what they do, like, you know? It's like specific pockets for doing certain jobs. Yeah. Um, no, I've never seen one like it myself. No, like neither have I, mate. But you, for the money you pay for that, mate, um, phew, yeah, that's a result. And again, uh, just that little set up there, his little Raymier Biggins, which he's rapidly falling in love with. It's just a bloody good burger, and it's just a shame that it's... I think it's expensive to buy from Ray Mears' site because um, it kind of got his name attached to it or whatever. Um, but yeah, loving the Bergen and the Avenge tent there. And it took you about, what, three minutes to put this up, mate, didn't it? Yeah, literally, yeah. yeah. It goes up so quick. Quick. And uh, seriously, it's so lightweight and so small. Um, that's a cracking bit of kit, mate, wasn't it? Yeah. Because you was going to come down with... Um, I was going to bring the hammer at the top, the under blanket, and it was like yeah. a load of weight. Yeah. And I thought, well, it's only one nighter, I can chuck my tent in, and I'll save myself loads of weight and loads of space. Because yeah. that was about 12 or 13 inches long, wasn't it? Yeah. And, you know, about as big as your... Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. Goes in the, goes in the side pocket. Pocket. No problem. No problem. That's a binge. And what I do like about it, mate, it's only got two guidelines on it, isn't it, you know? Yeah, you do have to yeah. put them, mate, Put that a little bit, that's a nice little bit of kit. Two poles, one down the, like the front, one in the yeah. middle. And once you take it, once you put them poles in, that's it. And you can just pick it up and move it wherever you want. You want, yeah. That's what I like about that, that's a nice bit of kit, that, mate. Well, you do know your kit, mate, yeah, and that's obviously, you know, I obviously at times I've come to you for advice about bits and bobs and that, you know what's what. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'll shut this thing off anyway, and uh, we're going to have a go at building. Yeah, do some work. <laughs> <laughs> right, take care, ladies and gents. Right, ladies and gents, it's uh, a while later on, because that's what I want to do every time I come over here, or anybody else comes over, is just kind of improve the situation a bit here. Um, 
an idea just the, the back of it obviously so when you get your fire going at night you're not going to have too much on there but just make the simplest way to make a, a table quickly it hasn't taken us too long mate really has it no. it's finding the wood and you know no selecting the wood and not raping the trees if that makes sense um that's taken the longest um because we were there the, the uh fire shield there reflector established and uh obviously we dug a few in larger posts cross member going down um and that's just for now um like in the daytime when there's no fire on that doing your bits and bobs on there storing your kit on there and doing your brews and that um i just thought that was i think you did as well just the easiest way to yeah, get one done project, isn't it? yeah i think um apart from collecting the wood we're only about an hour yeah, yeah. yeah something like that mate again the main parts we've done like with power cord and that's the decent stuff and uh, the rest of it only needs to be the uh biodegradable cheap yeah it's cheap string it's biodegradable you know so but yeah uh, and underneath there that's going to be our firewood stack and then when i come back sunday i'm going to bring a tarp just to put over the whole thing mate and weigh it down yeah just so that that just, that'll just make a it. at the bottom there will be a a firewood dry store or whatever or as dry as we can get it but other than that little axe mate does a good little job of yeah. and uh, obviously the fish I saw somebody was asking me about that um, giving that a thorough workout and um, got no problems with that whatsoever a little bit of thing I initially didn't like that um, but when I was out especially yesterday carrying the old uh, wood back that just like clips to your belt loop so uh, yeah what I initially thought that would be a pain in the arse it wasn't because uh, I've had that before I don't want to be walking along with a saw in my hand and I just clip that to my belt loops and again um, David's got the dogs, so what's it? It is a lovely bit of kit. Um, I tend not to pick up another man's tool. <laughs> I tend not to, I don't fondle other men's tools. <laughs> um, but the little fish axe, like, so I'm sort of uh, very, very happy with that. The bloody, it's got a lovely edge on it and it's still sharp and I've not done anything to that till I've had it, mate. And well, you can make them razor sharp yeah. easy. I mean, no but, time at all. Yeah, but that's kind of as it came. Yeah. I don't think I've done anything to it, mate, because it's pretty decent when it came and uh, I've, I've boshed that every time. But the only thing I say with it is because it's small and it's very light, I've always got it with me. And again, it's one of DB's knives. What knife's that, mate? Um, Beautiful. Yeah, I've got to be honest, I don't know. No. Like you yeah, say, it's, it's one of your favourite ones, isn't it? Yeah, like? it's one I've got uh, Alan King's 2 FC gave me. Yeah, how? And I, 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 I use it a lot because it's a nice knife. Yeah. Nice one, mate. Yeah. It's very Nordic, if mm. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it's like the sheep, you know what I mean? Hang yeah. Down like that. Yeah. Nice. Like a hang up. But you know, you can have all the sort of mega expensive name brands and you just get something in your hand and you think, yeah, that's the one, as you say, like, yeah. Well, oh, the thing you is, it's, it's, you know, it's a capable of doing all the jobs really and it's not too heavy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it feels nice in the hand. Yeah. No, nice. Uh, yeah, we're just going to hang fire, uh, have a mid-afternoon brew. What time is it anyway? No, oh, it's, uh, it's only half ten. We'll have a brew and, because uh, we're going to get away about noon, aren't we? Yeah, Ish, yeah, 10, yeah, 12. yeah, but yeah, that's uh, so that, when I'm look, you're looking at it, but I mean, it's just going to be ever so handy because you ain't bending down and all that sort of stuff, make your brews on it and that, oh, yeah. storing your kit, and obviously, everything gets packed away with me at night time. So, if I need to go get away, I'm not talking about bugging out, I don't have to do that shit no more, but um, you have all my kit tight and tidy, which it isn't at the moment as it goes, but there you go, we had to uh, <laughs> rip my top down to use that bit of paracord, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> No worries. So yeah, bring you back. Well, ladies and gents, yeah, we've uh, take finding the wood light without cutting down live trees was took a bit longer. But um, the building, we now have hot water for a brew, and we got a little. I'm quite happy with that, mate. We can just tidy it up a little bit, I suppose. Um, but very rustic looking, and uh, about an hour's work, wasn't it? I suppose, yeah. Oh, it's the builder and I was the gatherer yeah. <laughs> of the wood. Yeah, but every time you come, you can sort of, yeah, oh, we'll do this to it or something yeah. like that. You know, yeah, we we'll put some it. sides on it and that and that will be our wood store. And, you know, when I leave it, I'll just put like a, you can probably rig up a top to go underneath that, you know, it's just to mm. keep wood dry, like, because that was a big problem yesterday. Um, if we, like, you know, if you get that bit of wood there, yeah. cut it in two. And then we stack wood on top of top that. Of that. We've got air circulation that going around, round, right yeah. on the ground. See, I tell you what, yeah, you know, I wouldn't have thought that myself. Yeah, so that'll be the, what that's for then, mate. Yeah, and that'll just be a wood store. And I've got, you know, one of the old cheap um, 
tops, you know, they you buy from bloody yeah. you know, hardware stores. One pound ones. Well, yeah, you know, and bigger than a couple of three quid and that, because that's what we was going to rig up some um, shelters here, but we've always just gone with uh, the bed site. Just keeps well, just makes sense what we do the old wood. And uh, so, mate, the kettle's there. Uh, Are you yeah, 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 no, well, there you go. Just that's why I'm right. ready, ready for you can be mother, but yeah, that's just exactly what it's for there, mate, to store your kit. I and mean, you're not bending all the time in that as well, yeah. which is something. But yeah, that's got the old um, nail varnish remover in it, and that's got some fearsome flame on it, isn't it? Got some time as well, isn't it? Yeah. You didn't put too much in there. Uh, no, I let that burn out there, mate. No, but I'm quite happy to use that instead of mess, mate. To be perfectly honest. Mm. I mean, last night if you had had a little bit bit of a problem, obviously um, getting the fire going, even a little bit of that would have just done to overcome the old uh, wet wood that we had. No, but yeah, job done. And uh, time for a brew and a biscuit, a bush, bushcraft cookie, which are over there, mate. <laughs> I can see, you, I can see you eyeing them up, and the, the milk's there, mate. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, just packing up now, getting ready to go, and uh, having a brew. But I like just to, I mean, I'll try and do that every time I can, mate. Just do something, no matter how di di dippy or small, because um, we're gonna start thinking about some seats and that, just improving it a little bit, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are we looking to do that Sunday or the next time we come down? Or yeah, well, we might do it next time. Yeah, it? like just yeah. Because there might be. There's loads. Of, yeah, it's going to be more of a social because there's be a few people here. Anyway, yeah, just our little table. I think it was easiest way to construct it, mate, and uh, this uh, worked. So it's goodbye from me, and I'll see you later, ladies and gents. <laughs> Take care. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, we'll see. I'll give this to. Uh, David and uh, he said he'd uh, sort it out a bit for me as you know he's really good at doing personalising knives this is the uh, military MOD what they now call a survivor knife where everybody refers to it I know it as tool utility and a load of numbers and so forth um, again I had one of those I quickly acquired one as soon as I found him when I was in the army and used it it was, it was always in my kit um, obviously carried in the Bergen I know the sheath's crap but it's meant to be um, like a toolbox thing everything from a Land Rover to a 432 to a Chieftain would have one of these as part of the vehicle toolkit um, love the knife absolutely tank okay um, sorted out the sheath got that one made for me beautiful bit of Kydex work and that by uh, a geezer I, don't, I did a film about that he was up and coming and his skills are, are top end even David said that's a beautiful little sheath there and that uh, keep meaning to work out a put a little um little pouch on the front there but that's where i'm going i didn't expect to see this this side of christmas to be perfectly honest but um let's put a beautiful little edge on that a re um a, another beveled edge um i can't do it one handed anyway but to say that is now that's, that's razor sharp and uh, as david said that is a good bit still because it keeps the edge but what he has done is uh sanded all the wood down and um, as we know they come um the wood comes up here and that you know it's, it's meant to stop you um, touching the metal bit and that when you're in the cold and that and all I used to do with this because that's what I used to do with it when I was in the army was push a push a piece of inner tube down the whole thing um, but he's sanded all the wood down um, really made that beautiful and uh, as his Becker BK2 he's got what is the varnish you use on that mate? Oh it's uh, oil, oh god. I can't remember it's all called now, Cosmo I think it is Cosmo, yeah. yeah I think it's called that but it's, a, it's like a silicone Beetles wax, uh, wax material, uh, oil, which uh, when you put it on, it's like putting on four coats of like normal linseed oil, so uh. it protects it like really quickly, and it's uh. food grade and stuff like that. Uh. So a couple of them, and that's it. It's well, that's ain't coming off. You know no, what I mean? and uh, it's got that lovely like satin, but it's soft. Yeah. Yeah, grip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fucking yeah. yeah no, nice. It's a nice. You know, we used it a lot you yeah. know, on floors and stuff like that because it protects the floors quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? About putting loads of coats. On. Yeah. Just a couple of coats of that and that's it done, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. No, it's a quality stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it feels good. And, uh, but I'll tell you what, it feels nice in the hand, mate, doesn't it, you know? Yeah. And I described that, as you know, when you pick something out outside with gloss, it's satin, it's ever so grippy. So, thank you, I appreciate that, mate, that bit of work there. Um, like I say, uh, you know, you do know how to do your knives and that. And, uh, yeah, lovely little bit of work there. And that's uh, brought, oh, I say that, sort of, but just been brought up to date, if that goes sense. And, uh, you know, um, if I only, we've just sat there talking about that, mate. If you had to have just one knife, yeah. um, that or you know your BK, yeah. your yeah, Becker, BK 
BK2. Yeah, BK2. Uh, you know, because I could build shelters with that, hack stuff down, and all sorts like you know. All scenarios with it. You can't use everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Processing wood. Yeah. The whole lot, but. Yeah, because I used to have one of them which used to be down in the side patches of my Bergen and then uh, a Moira, uh, you know, just on the inside of my smock. Mm. You know, I just sold a little bit of material on there so it just clicked in there. And that was it was all I ever used in the army. And there's something else I uh, obviously always used and uh, worked with Norwegian troops and I sort of uh, managed to get older. One was uh, like the early version of a Laplander, but the military issue, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And I just, th th them three bits of kit, you can dump me that, a Moira, and a Laplander, and I can be a happy little sandboy and you can dump me anywhere, if that makes sense. You're comfortable with it. Yeah, uh, the Laplander, lightweight, Moira, um, for all your small skinning, all your preparation and that, and that for, because it's, well, like an axe, come chopper, come, you know, I've, um, well, at one time I've actually uh, dug a hole with it, you know. Because uh, that's all I had at the time, mm. and uh, a long time ago, tour of Northern Ireland, the uh, officer wanted to get into this little uh, abandoned farm building, and I was like, yeah, not happy about that, boss. We were there, long story cut short, he went long out the factory, i.e. Sanders. Um, so, I'll tell you what he did do, uh, he did listen to, like, the, the experienced NCOs that done a tour before, mate, and uh, round about, cut the protection teams, because I uh, don't want to be sort of taken on, if that makes sense, i.e. I win on tactical, because at the time it was a single brick wall, and you know, like, we all the, the mortar was a bit perished mm. <laughs> I wasn't going through any door yeah, yeah. yeah and it's you know it's a lot of waste and stuff and uh, you don't know who's been there before yeah so poked a few bits through with that knife ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, and that sounds a bit uh, and just enough so you could look inside yeah ooh booby trap you know the two big doors where the horses would come in at that was booby trap the small door and one of the windows on the on the side that had the moist cover to it because being a squaddy you're going to come in that way no no I know what's got yeah booby traps yeah back off boss yeah bing bing yeah uh, let's get the royal engineers in to clear this right you know and uh, that went through a brick wall, you know, there's just, uh, I always kind of remember that, because yeah. it was just there, that's all we had, you know, how'd you, how would you be like on a patrol yeah. with all your army kit, and uh, yeah, just chipped away at the mortar, uh, until that sort of uh, come through, enough just to poke my head through, I mean, ooh, to, you know, your bum goes, <laughs> it goes like that, it goes, two bob, frippity bit, <laughs> get the Royal Engineers in, <laughs> yeah, and you just back off and provide protection for them, mate, yeah, but uh, that's um, obviously, uh, I'll, Knife has uh, served me well, served me well, but, uh, and still, you know, you give it away to the younger blokes, or you, you know, you flog off your kit, wrap it in the kit, wish I'd have kept that one, but when you're a soldier, you just want to get out of the army and all that sort of kit, but yeah, nice one, but I really appreciate that, mate, it's a beautiful, beautiful bit of work on that handle, and yet the edge, um, just give it a little shave, mate, because I can't, sorry, and it, 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 it a bit of wood, like, because that's a, to say that's um, sharp is probably a bit of an understatement, isn't it? Yeah, it be good for like, yeah. Because when you get an MOD knife, uh, well, survival knife, you have actually got to work on it because they just come to a a certain standard, mate, don't they? But you've really uprated that, haven't you, for me? Yeah. So, I mean, you couldn't do that with a Mora, mate, could you? Yeah, cracking. Yeah, she's uh, been brought up to date. So cheers for that, mate. Yeah, no appreciate problem, that. And uh, I say you can. If, it's not all about money either. You can get them for in a region of fifty quid. The sheath isn't very good, but it's meant to go into like a toolbox or stuff, mate. And also, I think it was left-handed or whatever. But yeah, get, get somebody a bit of Kydex on that, and you've got a, um, a top-end knife there, mate. Mm. Uh, for forty quid and whatever, you can get to somebody to do a Kydex knife with you. But yeah, no, I appreciate that, mate. That's a lovely bit of work. So no problem, mate. thank you very much, mate. Bye, Lager, sweetheart. Uh, a couple of packets of crisps, yeah, and nice tits. <laughs>